Hey folks, welcome back. We're going to do another ship, uh, ship impressions. You know, I, I'm not going to say first impressions because I probably got a thousand hours, <laughs> a thousand hours in, in some of these gameplay loops and these ships. And so I'm, I'm very acquainted with their functionality and, and their maneuverability and how they behave and their characteristics. And I was thinking like, which ship do I want to pull out and talk about? And I'm going to do another uh, tier list, and it's just going to be my favorite video. I mean, my favorite ships, like the ships that I use the most. Because you can see I have quite a large uh, library here of ships, and I find that out of all these vessels, I fall. I probably fall into just five of these ships um, more, more often than not, and so. The 325, I was going to pull the 325. Where did you go? And here it is. I, I had purchased the 315P, and I, I you know, I, I had the 325 and the, and the uh, 315P and then the 300i at all one point. But I picked this up during Invictus for, for the 10-year insurance. But, um, you know, I kind of wish I had some more paints for it because I like my... My favorite paint scheme is the all aluminum, you know, like the polished aluminum. And I, I tried to buy, because this is a custom. This is the custom one where you custom um, pick all of its characteristics and you like pick the, the, you know, the steering wheel and the seat and the stitching on the seat and, uh, and all of that stuff. And so I kind of wanted to go through that experience. And I did it again with the 315P. The issue that I have with the 315P is that it doesn't have the center, the center cannon. And although you have the more cargo space, um, it, you know, once, once 320 comes out and you get the, um, you know, you get the tra functional tractor beam, it, it might be a little bit more viable, but it was just too painful to give up the um it was just too painful to give up the center the center gun and this is a size four see i, I like that uh, let me segue let me i digress i like the aluminum like riveted paint 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 scheme and let me see if i could find another another uh uh example of this like a real life example um on uh or here but so but all and it doesn't it doesn't uh it doesn't give a good a good example uh, I, you know what i did, here we go uh here's here's a good here's a good example right uh come on i'm, I'm having some difficulties here you know uh, like uh let me drag tag over i like Here's the old uh, um, DeLorean. I wanted to say Magnolorean DeLorean, right? I like these kind of uh, all steel uh, uh, paint kind of, uh, here's a good example. I like this kind of, of paint on the, and they have, some, the, for whatever reason, in game, the Orsons, all the ships have, like, this is sick. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, this is what I, the paint schemes I like on starships are these all chrome, type of all steel paint jobs okay i digress and so that's what i was going for with this is it's it's silver right it's silver but it's not quite there like you can see some of the ri riveting there maybe it's a bad bad example because i'm on the dark side of the of of orison but uh but back what's nice about this is it's got the size four in the front, and I've been I've been playing with like four or five weapon configurations on this, and I, and I think initially I was going for the the, the cannon because right now ballistics are in a really weird place, and cannons are are by far the most efficient for damage DPS to ammo loadout. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the laser repeater in the front, and then run the two cannons on the side i'm gonna run like i think they're called uh 11 11 long swords 11 long swords i'm gonna run the 11 long swords because it's still more dps 
than the one large cannon in the front and more ammo. And they just keep the laser in the front for um, the laser in the front for like doing the weird sh bounties where you got to shoot the guy on the ground or, or um, and these none of these are gimbaled. They're all fixed. And so, but what's 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 nice about this is it's also got the uh, the missile bay that pops open. So the difference between the P and the A is is the A has the missiles where if you get the P variant, you get the extra uh, A uh, SCU of cargo. And the way that the cargo works on this is you, it's super jank how you have to be in this left corner, right? I'm, I'm, see, watch if I pivot to the side. I lose the ability to open up the cargo bay. And that's why I wish they would just go to a button. And I know it's mixed, right? So you can't open this thing up any other way. I'm moving around. I feel like Michael Jackson moonwalking around the bottom of the spaceship to get it to open, right? You can't, you have to, you have to be on the exact left, left corner, okay? And what I like to do is I, I've kind of, um, you know, and this has got the exact same space as the as the Pisces for cargo. So what I'll do is when I'm on bunker missions, I'll tractor beam over the bodies out of the bunker onto the pad. And then once you're standing on the pad, you hit I and you have access to the vehicle storage. And it's got the exact same four SCU as the Pisces. And so you don't have to drag the bodies into the ship. You can just drag them onto the onto the pad here and then loot the undersuit and drag the, even though it's got the full armor set, you just grab the undersuit and drag the undersuit into the vehicle storage, and um, and then it moves all, all the armor pieces and the ammo and the weapon all in one shot over to the vehicle storage. And 4SCU is quite a bit. I mean, you could probably do like 25 armor sets, and so you can stack up like eight bodies on this little ramp, and then just, you know, undersuit drag, undersuit drag, undersuit drag. And then um, I think, let's do a little test. If I think, if I hit I, if I remove my helmet, let me see, let me go. Yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm getting ready to die, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's my, where's my helmet? Armor, armor. Okay. Ooh, that was close. That almost didn't work out. That was rough. I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought that um, that the armor, 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 armor. I thought that the um, the pad had the same because sometimes the landing pads have the same um, characteristics as the you know whenever you die you have to take your pants off. That's just a rule. So. Um, I thought the land, the pad has the same, so you can't you can't switch armors, um, but if you want to close it, you have to do the same thing. You have to stand in this left corner, right? You, you can't you can't get it from this side. You have to stand. And that's why I wish they would. If I if they were to do like a quick little 2.0 update, because uh, this has already had a, one rework. Uh, the first thing I would do, as I would recommend, is get rid of wheels. Right, just give me a, uh, a chicken leg that comes out, a little tri-finger tri chicken leg that comes out, because there are no runways in the game. That is becoming my biggest pet peeve. And then um, uh, give me a button for the bottom bay to click on to open up the button. Um, animation's f spectacular. And another thing that I like too is some ships, when you try to get out, you can't actually get out of the ship like it with, um, well, this one, you can open the door, and you can, you can say open door, and you can still get out of the ship. Watch, let me show you. And it's real, pretty easy to exit the ship, enter ship. And so, um, you know, I would, I would like these to be more um, lower to the ground, like the 100 series, but I, re I recognize they can't do it because that pod drops down from the, that rack drops down from the bottom. Okay, and so I purchased this one. You know, I wish I bought the clock, but I didn't buy the clock. And it always displays. Um, for some reason, my TV doesn't work. I, oh, maybe I got to turn on the power. Let me see. Uh, but visibility is phenomenal. Uh, maneuverability is fantastic. It has a, has a like, um, 
this little word, it segues from the green to the, to the red is, is like th 225. So you can usually outpace, you can usually outpace um, most lasers and, and AI lasers because they can't Kentucky windage the, the uh, you know, your maneuverability. So maneuverability, it's not quite what a Gladius is, but it's pretty close. And then you can see how you have this large glass canopy, which is super, super nice. And then um, one of the other things I wanted to talk about is, is you have this internal storage. So uh, this everybody can use. So if you have a buddy with you, it's only, it's 650, which is still pretty decent, um, but it, anybody can use it. So I can throw a bunch of ammo in there and then uh, my buddy can take the ammo out. Where uh, if it's the vehicle storage, it separates it. So if I put ammo in there, he can't see it, but then he can put ammo in there and then I can't see it. So it creates like two separate inventories. But when it says external, it's, it's uh, community property per se. Um, and then you can see you have a weapons rack. My second things that I wish that they would do, and this would actually be easier to do, is instead of having like non-functional wine glasses, just can, can I have can I have some uh, like fancy uh, Gatorade or, or not Gatorade, but you know the cruise bottles or like their fancy smoothies? Can I have like uh, gr the green um, smoothies they sell, like three of them here or a purple smoothie, and then that way it's like a functional gameplay loop, it, and I could just grab it and drink it, and it was like the medical. Uh, Pisces, right? Your rescue Pisces that has the med pens and the drinks. It, I wish that they would do that. I wish that I could, I would gladly swap out these wine glasses for a couple of uh, smoothies that were in there. Um, this, I bought this, and this is, this is on the website. If you go make coffee, this is so, I nerd out on this so much. And it was working in the, um, in the PTU, but, 19 PTU before this patch dropped, but let me show you something here. The problem is, is, um, right, the problem is, as I say, grab, grab, right, and I'll try to drink, and it just doesn't, it doesn't drink. It doesn't drink, and the issue is that when I mouse over it, you'll see that it still says it's zero content remaining zero. So, um, so it's still, it's still not right. It's still not, but I, I would love to be able to buy Once this is functional, I would love to put one of these in my Carrick. Uh, do we have server latency? I would love to put one in my Carrick. I'd love to put one in my, like all the Mercury star runner. I'd love to put one and, and like a bunch of ships you know, where you could just place it on the counter and then you could always have a coffee pot. Um, this is, this is your, your, uh, uh, the weapons rack. So you get um, two size, two slots, and then three size, one slots. And it's, everything's functional and works. It's fantastic. And then I also like the ships that are like the, the uh, Vanguard series of ships and uh, any ship that has an internal cockpit like this where you can get out I prefer because you never know when you're doing missions and you need to drink a little fluid. Uh, let me see substance. Let's do this. Uh, right. Let's see if the hand thing is, I haven't been able to equip anything in my hand for like a week. So what I have to do is I have to throw it on the ground. Right. I have to throw it on the ground. Yep. Right there. Grab. grab oh, it's just it's just like the server performance has just been so trash you know they should just take this like beverage water gameplay sh loop out of the game until they're able to, f to fix this shit you know like like legitimately they should just take take this food thing out of the game because if you can't if you can't oh my god
Anyways. Anyways. Um, that's why I put my helmet in my backpack. Um, hey, folks. <laughs> The 300i, 325, the 300 series of ships are fantastic, especially for their price point. You know, in game, they're not expensive. Uh, if you buy out of game, they, it's like 65 bucks to get into a 325p. Um, you, they're like $25 cheaper than the Gladius, and they're, they're not quite what the Gladius is, but pound for pound, they're the best, best price point for any ship in the game with its feature sets its firepower its maneuverability it's it's arguably it's not it's not the best fighter it's not the best cruiser and it's not the best cargo but that's for for if you were to buy if you were to start out with your starter ship and then you were to segue into a 300i or a 325p you would be very very happy with your decision all right folks thanks for watching um you have a wonderful day.